What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. No, it's Computer Duck. <laughs> Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another video today. You feel me? 20 catastrophic failures caught on camera. What went wrong? Now, uh, we're going to check what? this catastrophic out. Catastrophic failures. I mean, usually it's, you know, if it's something to the extreme, like look at the thumbnail. That seems catastrophic. Yeah. That would be the crazy. I seen, a, um, I seen a car accident on the way home. Oh, for on, real? On the freeway. Yeah, man. It was really bad. Well, oh, you saw it, it happen? It, 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 had, it, it had just happened right before. Oh, so it damn. was to the point to where cars were stopping on the freeway oh. abruptly. And. Everybody was getting over into the oh, left side. Damn. Yeah, so it had just happened. Um, I just I missed seeing it. The impact, yeah, yeah, yeah. It clearly had just happened. So, but yeah, no, nah, I seen the car. It was like all the back was smushed in. The airbags was, you know, yeah. I said a prayer, me and Nisha. Yeah. Real quick, because I, you know, I wasn't able to see. Yeah. Um, but they already had people uh, getting out. You know, trying to. Oh, help trying to help them. The okay. Other well, person that's... that had been a part of the accident. I don't know. It looked like they had probably got out the car. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay, so okay. thankfully and luckily nobody was in the back seat from what I've seen because yeah, that would have been that would have been fatal. So damn yeah, it, man, it was, it was quite a few of them, man. I got a, a couple of them on the uh, dash cam. So oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, well, but that just hopefully shows you drive careful out there, man. For sure. Well, we're gonna be checking these out, man, and uh, let's get right into this one, bro. From a gas station in Volgograd that yep. went up in a massive of flames, and a truck so driver in see. Russia who thought he could beat a speeding train. Oh, that was stupid. That's to Russia. Awful. That that was that's just on the guy that whoever was driving. Like, bro, what, they train you on that. Like a okay. speeding train, though. Like this. Then the guardrails were. All right. Landslide in India that destroyed an entire city block. Whoa! And a silo in Denmark that fell the wrong way during a controlled demolition. Oh, I think I remember Here that one. Are twenty catastrophic failures caught on camera? Ah man, Russians always, yeah. Hey, take it easy. Take it. Well, yeah, take it. Ani <laughs> Village is a small community in the Indian state of Himachal. Yeah, they can't see these videos anyway. They've been blocked on YouTube hey. for uh, almost a year now. Hey, right, Ross. Right. You you no, nah, they have, bro. They but bro, they always be blocking videos in Russia. We, we don't gonna, mean we, they don't see it. We, I'm sure we got some Russian subscribers, bro. I'm willing to bet we got some. Maybe that'd be crazy if we did. Be careful, bro. For Just days. On August 24th of 2020, Ross, are you sure? I hope so. Could only watch in horror as a landslide nearly took out the whole town. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. That's wild, bro. Damn, it's geez. just it's still going to the left. Jeez, bro. In Russia, video watches you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. The village was built at the base of a mountain with a long landslide history. Oh fact, no. Oh, well, that's what the itself, problem was. Maybe one big landslide complex. If that's the case, no more building. The lower slope would be naturally unstable. Maybe they should have considered that before building yeah. the dangerous mountain. Of course. They could have avoided this near tragedy. Thankfully, the locals noticed cracks as in well. the weeks leading up to the landslide. Whoa. Everything was vacant when the mountain finally collapsed. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Nobody was in there. I mean, you got a big ass crack the size of a damn TV screen in your living room. That's probably a good sign of like, you know what? We may want to. It's time to pack it up. Yeah. I, Before I, I get packed up. I don't remember a huge ass crack right there, but I. Madhya Pradesh is the second largest Madhya in the state Pradesh. by land area and fifth largest by population. It's home to about 72 million people. 97% of Damn. them have access to electricity. That Whoa. means the Department of Energy needs to churn out a lot of power. That's a lot of power, Any power bro. can be catastrophic. Ooh. On September 4th of 2020, a demolition crew arrived at the West Central Railway Zone in Madhya Pradesh. You don't have to be an expert to know it wasn't supposed uh, to go like this. Oh, 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 oh. oh. 
Damn. Who recording, bro? Boy, balls of steel there because something could have hit his ass. Holy. They were trying to demolish a large stone slab near the railroad. Looking closely, you can see a massive boulder fly through the air and smash through the overhead Damn. transmission tower. Ooh. Thankfully, nobody got hurt during the explosion Man. gone wrong. Bro. A spokesperson for the railroad said, we will ensure that more precautions are taken in yeah, future. Yeah, I bet. That is corporate jargon for, yeah, we kind of messed up. Our yep, bad. that's exactly what that was. Somebody said if he dies, he dies. Me after eating taco. Volgograd, Russia is a large city on the Volga River. It's about 600 miles south of Moscow and is home to roughly 1 million people. Most okay. people know it by its former name, Stalingrad. Oh. During World War II, it hosted one of the largest battles in the history of warfare. After Stalin's death, Russia changed the name to Volgograd, meaning Volga City. On August 10th of 2020, a fire broke out at a local gas station. Uh -oh. First responders Back arrived to Russia, yeah. Why, why? Oh, I'm about to, to say, the huh? You control the pump, man. You over there shimmy in the pump. But the fire proved you saw that? impossible. <laughs> it's just some All they could do roll. was evacuate the area and watch the place go up in flames. Take control, what man. happened next oh. reminded people of the famous battle. Oh! Jesus, bro. The alarms that are going off and all that. I like how my boys just chill. Yeah, just recording. Like, just another day in Russia. Another day in Mother. My bo <laughs> Let's peep my man right here. Hold on, hold on. Wild, so he. Yeah, he you saw clearly, that, right? Yeah, he that clearly was... he got somewhere to go in this direction. As soon as he saw that. Not no more. Uh, I don't know. They don't pay me enough. <laughs> when I hit the same thing. And he caused a little traffic in doing so. I'm going the other way. Mm -mm. I don't hit. care if I have an a, appointment to meet up with a special someone, special lady. Hey, you know what? I thought you was coming. Nah, I, you, I'm tired. Matter of fact, are you okay? Because damn, there's <laughs> something just blew up right in your direction by your apartment. Bro, a it's lot of people been hitting the U-turn. Yeah, no, I mean, I would hope they better. ...ignited the fuel flowing from a tanker to an underground storage tank. Damn. As you can imagine, there was a lot of gasoline sitting there, just Aww. waiting to explode. The fire spread over 10,000 square feet. Ooh, it damn. required over 70 firefighters and a special firefighting robot to finally get under control. A robot? Damn. They got a special robot? I mean, shit, he needs all the uh, help he Landslides can get. aren't the only natural disasters Southeast Asia has to worry about. Water has other ways of ruining their day. Take this sinkhole in Bangladesh, uh -oh. for example. On November 19th of 2015, a sinkhole opened beneath a beach house near the capital of wow. Dhaka. Thankfully, authorities noticed the signs and evacuated the home before Which is it good. fell. And there it goes. There it goes. It's gone. Just like that. You imagine your whole house down to Davy Jones' locker. Just like that. Gone. Not Davy Jones' locker. That like, is... it, like it never existed. The scary part is how quickly the house disappeared. The ground swallowed it whole. Had you walked by after, you'd never know something used to stay right. there. Gone, Sinkholes bro. like this come in two categories. Natural Someone and... said. <laughs> Sinkhole de Mayo? <laughs> no, bro. They didn't pay the rent, so Earth took the house. That's crazy. Oh, you don't want to pay, huh? All right. Man-made. Natural sinkholes Come occur due here. to topographical factors. Give me that. <laughs> occur after large you better not be in there when I take it. Cause <laughs> it's GG. <laughs> Rain also plays a major role as the water Damn will nature, you scary. Right. Things to, Mother nature well, is definitely scary, man. Undefeated. Yeah, super undefeated. Varez, Italy is a small city near the Swiss border. It's home to about 80,000 people and a crew of construction workers with a scary story to tell. They'll never look at Not cranes far from Italy. the same way again. 
On May 9th of 2017, oh a large crawler crane moved into position at the Achizani-Stavio railway yard. Right. It was hoisting a massive section of a new viaduct, Hoist. but the piece of concrete bridge was never put into place. That's because the crane tipped over, leading oh, to no. this viral video. Thankfully, nobody got hurt when the crane came crashing down. Thankfully. Uh oh. Look at my man. What are you telling me? Hey, hey, hey. Bro, them niggas got the fuck yeah, up out of there. Bro. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Dog. Damn. Look at old boy just casually holding his. The he took his helmet off. The last second is the crane operator. He dropped over ten Damn. feet from the cab and ran I for his life. I bet he did. Ah! See, that's that was a superhuman moment where yeah. you're able to do something crazy because of yeah. the human body. And this boy adrenaline was pumping. He knew yeah. if he didn't get out, <laughs> that was it. That nigga jumped. Like his life really did depend on it, man. Yeah. I know that boy ankles is sore, yeah, but he that. gonna he gonna be able to tell that he Live. was able to get out of there, man. That's all that matters, bro. Let's see Ooh. another day. As the crane toppled behind him, Damn, I would have jumped. The crash was loud on camera. Yeah, yeah. Imagine standing right next to it. An investigation found a problem with the crane itself, not with the operation. Ooh, that hello. was certainly good hey, news Russell, for the doing, operator. Bro? He may what have escaped with his. Hold on, let him say it. You said what? Life, but he was probably worried about losing his job. Oh, okay. I'm, I thought I thought he was going to get a payday because it wasn't his fault. Yeah, it technically wasn't his fault. But I would have fell to the ground like my ankles is broken. Ah! That's how I made it. <laughs> would have been walking machine, around on the desk. Your yeah. machine messed me up. Facts. Well, limping around, my bad. Hala Airlines is a Somali company with headquarters in Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah, Hala? They began operations mm -hmm. in 2016, servicing Hala, Hala. flights to several destinations around Somalia and Kenya. Classic, classic. On July 11th of 2023, a routine flight ended in dramatic fashion. Oh, no. CCTV cameras were rolling to capture oh, the entire thing. No. A small plane carrying 30 passengers and four crew members landed on the runway in the Somalian capital of Mogadishu. At first, it seems like a routine landing, but then something goes horribly wrong. The no plane injuries. veers off the <gasps> runway oh. and crashes through a reinforced fence. Oh. The cockpit suffered heavy damage, and wow. both propellers were destroyed. By some miracle, only two passengers suffered minor injuries. Wow. Early so really investigations determined that wind shear caused the plane to veer off the runway. The report says our Tanzanian pilot lost control due to strong winds. It caused a break in the left main landing gear, Damn. which explains why the plane veered violently. Damn, to the left. bro. I don't play about the planes, bro. Woo wee! That's when you think God uh, heavy. I don't the know. I'm getting home. The Dam is a concrete Batch. gravity dam on the Sutlej River no in more. northern India. Its reservoir, known locally as Gobind Sagar, holds up to 9.34 billion cubic Damn. meters of water. That makes it the third largest reservoir in India in terms of water storage. Over the years, Bagra Dam has become a popular tourist attraction in Himachal Pradesh. India's first prime minister called it the new temple of resurgent India in 1963. Thankfully, there were no tourists nearby so when a water. massive landslide occurred by the entrance. The only people around were two security guards who had to run for their lives. Bro, did you see how they... these niggas is laughing? Are they la bro? That's wild. Bro. Bro. They on camera laughing at these niggas. Oh! Dog. Oh, oh damn! damn. And they over here laughing. Jeez. Oh! Damn. Ooh. It's like a hurricane. You hear? Oh, boy. Damn! 
Oh, oh no, nah. yeah, they had to run. I'm glad they were aware of something. The guards noticed small stones falling from the hill at first. Mm -hmm. Both of them, being natives to landslide-prone India, we'll say, uh, read the nah, the wall. All they saw the <laughs> yep. couple pebbles. <laughs> that's what, uh, what? <laughs> what? That's what? That's what Simba saw when them before them boys start running over him. Yeah. He hightailed it moments before the mountain collapsed and Damn. the guard post. According to the Geological Ooh, Survey of India, oh, 22 areas around the rim of the Bakara Reservoir are prone to landslides. They said that unplanned excavations of hills and slopes in a few key places they are wouldn't, leading to They wouldn't have survived, the bro. Mm. The reservoir also has some bad vibes attached to it. To I fill bet it, it does. they had to submerge about 371 small villages. Whoa. 50 years after its completion, some are still waiting for fair compensation. For Hold example, on, uh. one guy's family gave nearly 15 acres of land for the project and still hasn't gotten his fair dues. Oh, we oh. got my money. Ain't no way That's hell. fucked up, bro. We got our money, boy. Damn. Mm-mm. You finna run me my pockets. Nah, they gotta run them pockets, man. On April for real. 6th of 2018, a crowd 15 gathered acres? by the shore in Vordingborg, Denmark. The old fairy town is home to about 12,000 people, but was making room for more. First, they needed to tear down a 36-year-old silo. After six months of careful planning, they were ready to press the button. But, six as we all know, things don't always yep. go. Yeah, because you got a plan to the destroy stuff like that. watched the 170-foot tower fall in the wrong direction. Yep. They got one job to make sure it falls the way they it's supposed to fall. And when it don't, it don't. Yep. Oh, <laughs> they knew it then. <laughs> oh. Oh. Damn. Wait. Well. <laughs> Maybe he hitting that. No, they in trouble, bro. You just destroyed that other yeah. building that had yeah, nothing man, to do with yeah. it. Just gonna look for another. Wait, you said naked? Just gonna look for another job, man. Yeah, bro. Ah, ah, ay, ay, ay. Oi. Bro, look at the size of that Instead building. In the intended safety we need new jobs zone, now. The tower toppled onto the local <laughs> cultural center. The building houses the administrative offices of the Vordingborg Libraries and a music school. Thankfully, nobody was inside when Good. the tower crashed, though. Volunteer firefighters worked through the night to clear the rubble. Miraculously, the building didn't suffer much interior damage. Books and papers were covered in dust, but it wasn't anything a little TLC couldn't fix. Well, I'm glad nobody sure was in there, though. silo fell the wrong way. Authorities in Denmark investigated the issue, but never released a conclusion. We're Damn. guessing they chalked it up to bad luck. Right. Bad luck. Bad luck, my ass. Dang. Poor planet. The Oroville Facts. Dam is an earthfill embankment dam east of Oroville, California, in the Sierra Nevada Oroville. Foothills. At 770 feet <laughs> high, it's technically the tallest dam in the United States. Oh, okay. Oroville's three main purposes are water supply, hydroelectricity, and flood control. Is that All Oroville three and Baca? were put to the test in February of 2017. <laughs> For California, the first half of 2017 was marred by record-breaking floods. Northern Cali saw its wettest Damn. weather in nearly a century. Damage estimates exceeded 1.55. We know all about yeah. floods down here. The flooding was so bad that it eroded the main spillway at the Oroville Dam, prompting the evacuation of 188,000 people. It. Dam operators noticed a massive crater about halfway down the main spillway. The concrete had eroded and water Whoa. was escaping from the main chute. The Damn. Department of Water Resources thought they controlled the issue when they stopped the water flowing through the spillway. They wanted to get out and assess the damage. Meanwhile, water levels on Lake Oroville continued rising. They were stuck between a rock and a hard place. They could either reopen the damaged spillway and risk further damage, or let water levels on the lake keep rising and put the unused emergency spillway to the test. 
They mm. opted for the latter. On February 11th, the emergency spillway carried water for the first time since 1968. Damn. The issue is that they can't control the water flow, not yeah. without opening the main spillway. Too much water could overflow the river below and flood nearby communities. Damn, That's bro. why on February 12th, the order went out to evacuate the Feather River Basin. 24 hours later, about 188,000 people had fled the immediate area. Yeah, no, of course. Enough water spilled over to lower levels in Lake Oroville. This allowed them to keep the main spillway closed until they could inspect and repair the damage. Repairs were completed in 2019. Say, the DWR made plans to keep <laughs> water levels on Lake Oroville lower than before. Hopefully, it never happens again. But that's up to Mother Nature. Yo, I hope she's wet. I know we can't control it. <laughs> Springfield is a oh, not Springfield. Not Springfield. Columbus, Ohio. They're situated along the Mad River, where you'll find the ruins of an abandoned 90-year-old power plant. The Mad River oh, power oh, plant oh. went up in October <laughs> 1927. Of course, it's Ohio. Of course. They began tearing it down. The demolition had been going smoothly up until November. That's when crews were tasked Someone with taking Homer down did it. a 275-foot <laughs> smokestack. They rigged it with Smith. explosives and cut away part of the side. The tower was supposed to fall east into a clearing. Unfortunately, of course. it had a mind of its own. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody having a mind of its own. All right. They said, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, the power! Ooh, ooh. Oh, my. See, all you got to do is show me that the building falling the wrong way. You ain't got to tell me to get out of there, fam. Like, I, <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. Damn, uh, power bro. lines is sitting right there. Yeah, yeah bro. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And you know that's gonna take them time to get that power oh, back yeah, up, bro. bro. Oh my! The tower fell to the southeast and smashed through a building full of backup generators. Oh, it also no. took down two 12,000 volt power lines, which Damn. made the situation extremely dangerous. Facts. The job was handled by Advanced Explosives Demolition Incorporated, an Idaho-based company. <laughs> they said the explosives detonated correctly, but an undetected crack on the south side pulled the tower in the wrong direction. About 4,000 uh, people crack. in the Springfield area lost power. While the company Damn. was relieved nobody got hurt, the accident was just the beginning of their worries. Yeah. First Energy, the company that owns the power lines, <laughs> said the botched demolition caused $19 million in losses. <laughs> they sued for damages and settled before trial. Of course. Ah, oh, nah, nah, you... $19 million. Bro, you knock out some power lines, that company, they gonna come for you. You owe yeah. us. That's that's millions of dollars gone. We gotta send somebody out there to fix everything. Oh no, you owe us. You gonna pay us. We ain't fuck up. Our <laughs> power lines didn't fuck up. And you I better get up. money off my bill. <laughs> Tell you that. Instead of states or provinces, Colombia is divided into thirty-two departments. The Antioquia mm. department is the sixth largest, Antioquia. although most of its territory Antioquia. consists of mountains and valleys. It hosts the Colombian capital of Medellin and extends Medellin. to a tropical paradise along the Caribbean coast. The On March 12, 2023, a group of construction <laughs> workers That's began hearing cracking noises Medellin. coming from a retaining wall. Unfortunately, <laughs> you can't even say it. this was Medellin. the second time something like this had happened to the same crew at the same site. They knew a landslide was imminent, so they all stepped back and watched their hard work come crashing down. I know that's going to be sad to look at, boy. Uh oh. Damn, bro, look at that. Oh. But he's still recording. Jeez. 
All that work. From what we can gather, this retaining wall was part of the Pacifica One project. The mm. plan was to build a road that would connect the municipality of Bolombolo with Medellin and the rest of southwestern Antioquia. The, mug said the no. funny thing is, retaining walls are supposed to prevent this very thing from happening. Yeah. They're geotechnical structures geotechnical. meant to reinforce soil and increase its load bearing abilities. Whoever conducted the soil tests on this wall must have been new. That, <laughs> or they're really bad at their job. Remember, uh, I'm going with really bad at their job. Twice. Oh, twice. Another word for saying they got fired. Bangalore, India is the capital and largest city in the Bangalore. southern state of Karnataka. Bangalore. About 8 million Bangalore. people live within the city, making it India's third largest by population. The city sports a pleasant climate year-round. That's because it sits about 3,000 feet above sea level on the Deccan Plateau. Damn. Its parks and green spaces earned it the nickname Garden City. But don't let all that greenery fool you. It has a serious problem with building collapses, especially during the Damn. rainy season. Water erodes the poorly constructed foundations, which leads to cracks, oh, yeah, that's GG's, tilts, then. and total yeah. failures. On September 27th of 2021, uh -oh. 40 people narrowly escaped a building on the verge of collapse. Ooh, oh, gee. They all piled up. According to reports, the residents were evacuated the long phones. before the building fell. However, there were 40 workers yeah. inside trying to prevent the structure from collapsing. Everyone ran for their lives once it passed the point of no return. It seems like local officials saw this collapse coming. In 2019, a committee identified 185 buildings in danger of collapse. Not 185. They demolition, but only 10 were ever torn down. <laughs> According to the government, heavy rains had damaged another 2,500 homes. Damn. Whether or not they were on the verge of collapse is anyone's guess. That's your wild, bro. is a small city in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Because it's located in the middle of a highly fertile region, it's among the state's most developed and prosperous cities. That means they have money to spend on replacing decaying infrastructure. Oh, they got money like to blow. Bridges. On September 26th of 2022, a demolition crew arrived to remove a dilapidated bridge. They drove an excavator out to the middle and began hammering away. It seems like someone should have rethought this plan. What happened next shouldn't have surprised anybody. Uh oh. 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 Oh shit. shit. Oh. Get out of there! Get out of there! Oi, oi! Oh, look at that him right there, huh? I don't know. He got out. Damn, bro. According to reports, the driver was rescued later on. The bridge itself oh, was over a hundred years old. Tearing it down was part of a larger plan to widen the highway along the canal. Technically, it was a job well done. Now they just have to fish that excavator out of there. Oh yeah. I don't know. Anybody else can go in there and do this one? <laughs> Rio Branco, Brazil is a large city in the Acre River Valley. It's home to about 419,000 people right. and one oblivious truck driver. You could say he started his new year out with a bang. On January 21st oh, no. of 2020, that a police helicopter good. was preparing for takeoff at a strategic location in the city center. From there, it could easily patrol the entire city in record time. Unfortunately, this patrol mission never got off the ground. That's because our truck driver ignored all the police signs and drove straight into the spinning blades. How? How is that possible?
Øh. Uh, I don't even have words for the stupidity. I don't Just, know. Like, what, what was he not seeing <laughs> about that whole I, situation? Like, I, you have to be blind, literally. And then that costs a lot of money and damages. Right. A helicopter, fam. You can Five hear it. Five people were inside the helicopter and three inside the truck when they collided. Thankfully, nobody was seriously hurt. The truck was a government vehicle yep. used to transport waste from a local hospital. Nobody could explain why the, the driver government. got so close. This type of helicopter patrol is very common in Rio Branco. These landings <sighs> are everywhere in the city, and police take every precaution to ensure nobody gets near the blades. There are signs and barriers and people stationed all around. This video goes to show that no matter how hard you try, you can't fix stupid. Facts. You can't fix it. It's just stupid. It's just a disease. It's a dynamometer, incurable. or a dyno for short, is a tool used to measure an engine's torque and RPM. Dynamometer. It's how you calculate mm -hmm. a car's horsepower. The equation is horsepower equals a dinosaur. torque times RPM it's divided stupid, by 5,252. Now, truck enthusiasts love to push their vehicles to the limit. Uh -huh. Every year, the city of Ogden, Utah, holds an event oh. to see whose truck can put out the most horsepower. Drivers hook themselves up to a dyno and yep. push their engines to the absolute limit. On September 20th of 2020, <laughs> I'm about to be sad. <laughs> pushed a little too no um, yeah. He's about to blow his engine up. Yep. The warning right there. Say, so, hey, cuz, take it easy, cuz. We about to blow it up. It's about to pop, cuz. I'm trying to warn you, cuz. All right. Ooh. Oh my God. Holy. That. He legit blew it up, bro. Yep, that mug blew up. Oh, it's done. It's done. Might as well take it to the scrapyard after that. It's yep. over. It's not. It's total. Sean and his truck, Master Shredder, had already topped two thousand nine hundred and twenty horsepower and over four thousand torque. But he wanted more. Nah. He was convinced old Shredder could handle it. Nah, Lucky for bro. Sean, he escaped the fireball yeah. with a few bruises and minor burns. Jeez. Everyone acted quickly to extinguish the fire before it spread around the event. The record for most horsepower belongs to a 44-foot tall, 87-foot long <laughs> Finnish-made engine. It's the largest yep. internal combustion engine ever made. Uh -huh. It pumps out a whopping 107,390 <laughs> horsepower. It oh, powers the Emma Maersk, one of the biggest container ships ever built. Its top speed, about 25.5 knots or 29.3 miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine yes. 100 100,000 horsepower. Then you, you move you, without even trying. Yeah, to... as soon as you touch the pedal, you already in a whole nother country. <laughs> you just you, you may end up going into the future, honestly. Yeah, you're going to go to the future. <laughs> the future of Heaven's Gate. That's, that's what going. You're just going to be like, what happened? My my child. You push. You push. You, you, you know what happened. You knew what was happening as soon as you got in there. Might I replay it for you? <laughs> nah, you don't. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Dom would win that race back somehow. Some way. Spalzin is a small town in western Poland situated family. on the Orba River. Back on January 14th of 2020, a local truck driver learned a valuable lesson about speed limits. CCTV footage shows him driving through the Polish backcountry with an excavator on his flatbed. Just as as slow he goes as around be. the bend, he comes in a bit too hot and wasn't able to stop in time for a passing train. The high-speed train flies by and clips the back of the truck. All he had However, to do was footage wait. from a different angle puts the whole story in perspective. Why Our didn't he driver just wait? approaches way too fast. 
You can tell he slammed oh, on the brakes by the way the cab dips down. The truck no. was too heavy to stop in time. Oh, Here, the man makes a decision. He said the ghost. Stop yeah. and risk the cab landing on the tracks or try to outrun the train. It was he too late. chose the latter. It was the too late. The train smashes the flatbed ah. and spins it 90 degrees. Imagine and there's people on the there. Stars watching this whole thing happen. Out of the 150 people on board, only four were injured, including two train operators. Damn. The truck driver walked away unscathed, though his truck was a lost cause. Yeah, he was speeding, bro. He was, he was coming around that corner too fast. You be coming the around city that of Minneapolis corner. You come... used to be home to the Hubert H. Humphrey bum, bum, Metro bum. Dome, a massive stadium that served as the home field for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I think I know about this one, yeah. Years. We say used to because in mid December of 2013, uh -huh. disaster struck the Metro Dome. It all started when a blizzard impacted the city overnight. As the storm intensified, the roof of the Metro Dome yep. began to sag under the weight of the snow. The facility's management attempted to clear the snow from the roof, but were unsuccessful. By Sunday morning, the roof had reached its breaking point. Lucky for us, nobody was inside. inside the stadium captured the entire disaster as it happened. The first sign of impending doom is the snow leaking from the roof right as it began to sag. Only a few short moments later, the Damn. entire structure gave way, dumping thousands of pounds Ooh. of snow onto the field below. From another angle, you can see the roof slowly sinking down over the span of a minute. Small tears start letting snow in. Oh, while I think the somebody was in there. Shit. Only add to the overwhelming yeah, weight. Somebody was in there recording. By the end of the video, the entire thing is nearly touching the field. The cause of the collapse was a combination of factors, including the age of the roof and the weight of the snow. The inflatable roof was constructed of a Teflon coated fiberglass fabric that had become brittle with age. Mm. The storm brought 17 inches of snow Ooh, to the Minneapolis area, putting shit. an enormous strain on the roof. The Metro Dome was ultimately demolished in 2014, and a new arena was built in its place. This time with a much more durable roof. Yep, they ain't had no other choice. She's a break. In the heart of Kazakhstan, you stupid. <laughs> Karaganda is a city steeped in a rich and intricate history. While once renowned for its coal mining industry, the city has undergone significant transformation in recent decades. The rapid influx of population triggered a construction frenzy, yet not all structures met the expected standards. On April 6th of 2012, one of these newly erected buildings suddenly crumbled, what? and at first glance, it could easily be mistaken for a scene from a CGI rendering. Wait a minute! Whoa! Ужас! 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 Walking right there to the left. Mm -hmm. Reports suggest that in the days leading up to the collapse, the building had been tilting precariously providing ample time for oh, all 111 that. residents to evacuate. Miraculous, okay, that's good. There were no injuries because of this. That's good. They were able to get everybody out of there, man. See them warning signs be letting you know, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the warnings. River is a 70-mile waterway flowing through central Shanghai, China. Hmm. Its waters span a width of more than 1,300 feet and plunge Damn. to depths of up to 30 feet in certain areas. For many locals, the river serves as a vital transportation route, offering yes, a scenic backdrop for daily commutes. Moreover, it even plays host to luxurious yacht tours, allowing residents and visitors to explore the city from a different perspective. On the evening of August With 7th that. of 2021, an <laughs> idyllic cruise on one of Not these rush yachts hour. <laughs> turned into a harrowing ordeal. Eleven passengers were aboard the oh, ship no. when it suddenly burst into flames. Oh and no! I'm not with that. Oh no! It was right by the shore, though. Security camera footage shows first responders rushing to get people off the yacht. Yeah. You can imagine the panic they must feel to get the hell out of oh. there. One guy even almost goes overboard. Not long after, oh. the entire ship was Ooh. up in flames. Oh. And you know them yachts are expensive, bro. Yeah. Very, very, very expensive. Carter, Lee, God. <laughs> Jump, Carter! Ain't no way, man! <laughs> Juntao! Juntao! <laughs> so, yeah, Juntao! Carter, jump! Carter! <laughs> I'm in the age! 
All hell, man. <laughs> that nigga said, man, I'll be right back, man. Let me go to these. Gotta. An officer aboard a marine patrol boat Ricky described Dan, the scene yeah. as they approached the stricken yacht. All they saw was a thick plume of black smoke and passengers with life jackets on in the water. Well, I'm glad the they were able to get off there, man. quick work of the fire once they arrived. The boat was a loss, but everybody involved Tan. was okay. June Tao. Hey, man. The boat can be replaced. Your life, not so much. Priceless. The city of Bangalore is the capital of the Indian Back state at of Bang Karnataka. Galore. In 2001, stupid, researchers bro. discovered Stone Age artifacts on the city's outskirts, suggesting Ooh. humans settled there around 4,000 BCE. Damn. It's been a growing hotspot ever since. In 2017, the city was looking to expand. They knocked down an old theater and began digging an 80-foot hole to lay the foundations for a new high-rise development. Then, on July 28th of 2020, a local noticed cracks forming in a three-story building sitting directly next to the giant hole. Uh -oh. Take a guess what happened next. Oh, well, we can, we can surmise what's about to happen here. And, oh, Timber. I'm a roll, too. Everything gone. Everything that was built, gone. Just gone. Poof. Just like that, bro. They got multiple angles. Look at it. Timber. Oh. These are just buildings here, bro. They're not like toys. Fucking Lego sticks just tip over. Yeah. Bro. There's Legos everywhere. So it's in my security deposit. <laughs> Several different angles capture the building as it falls into the hole. Your Sparks fly on the ground floor as it home. topples end over end. <laughs> and the crash sends a massive cloud of dust into the air before everything settles. A closer angle shows the ground giving out from underneath the building. Yeah. Thankfully, nobody was inside. Good. The fire department got everyone out of the building moments before wild, the collapse. Bro. Not There moments. wasn't much they could do to save the structure itself, as Damn. getting through in there was far too risky. The blame fell on the developer for poor project planning, Ooh. and they likely had to compensate for damages. Of course. Next time, maybe they'll be more careful when digging uh, yeah, a pay massive me for my hole in the middle of a heavily populated area. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this video and want to see another Stupid, just like just, just, that's, that's the problem. Boys be trying to get that bottom dollar, and they'll try and find a way the cheapest route to, you know what I'm saying, construct some stuff, and ultimately end up paying more than if they would have did it the proper way the first they research mm -hmm. and now you got to pay niggas that had to get evacuated because that's their home wherever they were staying at it's all gone because of your cheapness decisions yep yep because i'm all oh, best believe nigga, nigga, i had nothing but valuables in there <laughs> oh, yeah, pay bro. me pay me what nigga? my house is in a fucking hole sir so that's why they do home insurance because people Black. like you. For all the raw savages. All my joints at the bottom of a hole. You gonna pay me, sir? So the thing is, they at the bottom right now. Many, many years later, somebody go over there and dig up and find all the shoes. And Most just got all type of dirt and debris. Dirt. Somebody restore them. And then <laughs> look at these shoes from the, <laughs> not my chains from the, the 2020s. Jordans, no, these are shoes from the 2020s. All just at the bottom of a hole. <laughs> We're in the year 2130. Uh, now nah, as long as I got Blondie with me, we good, bro. I got a yeah, chance. <laughs> nice save, nice one. But hey, if y'all enjoyed the video, man. <laughs> You already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe. Let us know what else we need to be checking out, man. If y'all enjoyed that, let us know in the comments down below, man. Keep on supporting us. For sure. Spreading love, being love. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.